Okay, firstly, I would like uh, to thank you for the presentation because uh, I think it's, it was the most powerful um, combination of all, all the facts and like all the data that happens in Ukraine and like I was very pleased to see all the places that are very familiar and also understand all the range of the destroyment. Um, this is the topic that I'm also working with and collecting all those data. Uh, before I was uh, focusing mostly on uh, what happens with the forest and uh, the, like the impacts of the destruction of the occupied territories. Uh, now I want to focus more on the, like, the whole range specter, um, but I think that we need also to discuss uh, the, idea, the main idea with all the other students. We haven't met them all. Yeah, but mainly mine, uh, like just my words, I think I'm very thankful for the um, information that you gave us. Yeah, and thus introduction. Okay, so, well, for us it's kind of hard to, to talk about this problematic because we, first of all, uh, we are not more like spectators of all that, uh, all that war and all that uh, thing, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's, it's hard for us to, to get involved and to talk because we uh, didn't suffer the same and we, we are not, uh, we, we didn't have the, the same like mm, bond to, to all the to all the matters, but I was thinking about how I, how I was living all, all the news and all the media uh, around uh, when the war uh, started. And I was like really, uh, really, okay. I was like really paying attention to like, uh, 24 hours uh, CCTV cameras that are like in live on, on, on internet. And it was like a way to like open a window and to be there for a moment. And I, I would think that that would be what, uh, what interested me the most for, to work with like some kind of surveillance Im images or of live video from Ukraine or from R Russia, or I don't know. And we, uh, Rosera and I, that uh, we are like a duo or something. We 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 are a team, okay? <laughs> See, better a team. We are a team. So and we work with video installations and interactive installation and so, uh, stuff like that. So I think we can think about how to get like live images of a. Uh, that cameras and I don't know I'm I'm <laughs> I'm st like starting to to see something but I'm I'm not sure I have to work in and think more but that's what I'm most interested I think thank you Uh, Katya wants want to speak also with uh, you. I think answer uh, or uh, maybe add something. Yes, I wanna give a feedback. Um, what is what is the name of, of the student? What is uh, your name? My name my name is Jorge. <laughs> Jorge, yeah, hi yeah. Jorge. Uh, yeah, thank you very much uh, for the comment uh, and for this amazing presentation of Ibeta is really giving all of us, not really just you, but me as well, uh, a deep understanding, a, a better understanding of the problem. And uh, I also even been here right now in Ukraine, um, some of that information is pretty new to me. So what I would uh, propose to think about uh, is not really how to um, how to work on something about Ukraine, but rather to reflect of your own experience 
connected to the like climate change and ecology issues and those news that you were really probably heard about Ukraine more and then less. And as you said, that is not uh, a, a big part of your life now uh, or ever, which is okay. And it's interesting. So um, I, I believe that every experience of you guys uh, is unique. And we don't want to adapt that experience or, you know, work on it or do anything. I think it's so important that you have such different uh, points of view and experiences. And that's why it's interesting to work together. At the same time, you said very interesting thing about uh, a team. Because uh, at one, like, uh, um, yes, you are. But then you are individual artists, and each of you can bring your own perspective. So I would like uh, uh, create, you know, what like what is the difference between jazz and house? That house is just a cacophony that is just going on, and jazz is like it is still a cacophony, but you listen to others. So what I want you really to do uh, is really to, to to listen more to each other and each other experiences. And we don't know what we will come up with, none of us. It's going to be a journey for you, for me, like for everybody involved. And this is the beauty of that process. I really like the idea to have that live, uh, um, you know, window to some place and you will probably later on choose which one and why. But to have that connection, um, you know, while you cannot have all that information you would like to know through the news, and you can create that with those. Uh, not in time yet, but uh, in space. Uh, that could be really something, like, it, it sounds to me like really something that you can go deep into because it sounds amazing. Sorry, I, I will have a lot of comments. <laughs> you need to be Thank ready. You. Thank you, Kate, Iveta. Yeah, I want, I want to add uh, to Katya's comment is that actually it is very important that um, uh, the, the, the Spanish part of the group is there because uh, as, I, as I showed you, 90 93% of Europeans uh, consider climate change as a problem. 97% uh, uh, of Ukrainians do not. And if our target audience is Europeans, to whom we would like to tell about Ukrainian uh, war problem ecology, we should think as Europeans, not as Ukrainians, right? So that's why the insight and the, the cultural and historical and mentality perceptions of uh, Spanish people, European people, is a key, because we cannot tell our, tell our language, right? We should do something which which will be heard and percepted and, and understood that's why i agree that this this joint um, team is, is a great asset thank you iveta um guys maybe some uh, from us ruslana for example want to add something First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Iveta for such a great presentation. And uh, as for my project, um, I'm also really considered about the theme of forests. And, um, and yeah, because it uh, it's connected with my hometown and my native region, and um, especially forest fires. Uh, Yes, and another point of my interest is uh, soil and its connection with uh, food security uh, because Ukraine is like, um, it's really important for our economy and uh, like world, world economy is uh, food. So, uh, yes, and how it's connected with soil. Uh, okay, maybe some any comments? Um, yeah, Chris, please. 
Um, I'd, I'd just like to respond to our uh, colleagues, Spanish colleagues, who mentioned that the, the war feels like a long way away. I think that's a very human response. Uh, um, sigo, en, sigo en inglés, ¿vale? Pero si quieres puedo repetirlo en español. Um, I, think, I think it's a very natural and human response to say there is um, a gap for us conceptually and empathetically, because this is a long way away. Um, but I do think as human beings, we need to interrogate that in first response, uh, and we must interrogate it very quickly. Uh, and perhaps one way we can approach it is by saying, what is happening in my country or my community, both in the past or the present, that would give me some idea as to what's happening uh, in Ukraine. So, for example, uh, if in Spain <clears throat> we were to look at the development of the building of the dams, Los Pantanos, in, in the 1920s and, uh, sorry, 30s and 40s and 50s uh, by Franco, you will learn a lot about the, na the nature of ecocide and the destruction of communities in the name of nation building. If you look at the displacement of rural populations in Teruel, um, Castilla y León, uh, La Rioja, Navarra, and, todo, todo, uh, and all of those uh, regions, you will discover a lot about how that was facilitated through a femicide, through an attack against women and a, an attack against um, uh, uh, um, um, medical services provided for women. There was a specific act to remove doctors looking after women from the rural countryside in Spain in the uh, 40s and 50s in order to force them to the, to the cities. Now, if you talk to your grandmothers, se hablas con vuestros abuelos y abuelas Vas a encontrar muchas historias de este uh, tipo y esto va a ayudar mucho en vuestra uh, habilidad uh, de entender un poco más qué está ocurriendo ya mismo en Ucrania. Es, Ucrania es una historia para todo el mundo y para nosotros los europeos. Eh, Puedo responder, ¿no? ¿Se me oye? Sí, sí. Hombre. Ok. So, it's... it's very funny that you mentioned that uh, about the dams and the and the water management here in Spain because we actually made a, a, a video art piece uh, two years ago or more or less about that topic so it's kind of funny that you bring that to the table because we we are uh, interested in that uh, in that topic we uh, filmed uh, a dam where there was a, a, an old town that was underwater and it was like a, a lot of things that emerged when we make that journey to, to do the film, the filming and, and all that. And it's, it's the same. I, I, I agree that we can, uh, we can get involved with by uh, uh, looking at our, our own history. In fact, my, my grandfather was like w w uh, fought on, on the civil war here in Spain, so yeah, maybe it's that uh, a way around, but I don't know, we, we, we will discover it. Thank you for, for your advice. Muchísimas gracias a ti para esta respuesta.